And in other military matters news around Fort Hood, the 11th Air Support Operations Squadron, a part of the Air Force stationed on Fort Hood, will be saying goodbye. The Strong Eagles Airmen will be reassigned under the 9th ASOS. It's part of a reorganization by the higher headquarters. These airmen do what's called TACP work, which stands for Tactical Air Control Party. They help coordinate communication and airstrikes between the forces in the sky and soldiers on the ground in combat. Lieutenant Colonel Frank Biancardi, former commander of the 11th ASOS, will now head up the 9th ASOS. It's not the first time the 11th ASOS has been inactivated. It's got a storied history beyond Fort Hood. The 11th, uh, in terms of its flag, has flown from the beaches of Normandy uh, through Patton's Third Army. Uh, and then for a short time, well, between 1947 until about 1994, uh, the squadron was inactivated, uh, just like we're doing today. And in 1994, the squadron was activated to support 4th Infantry Division. Now, where will that steel eagle's guide on go? Being Cardi tells me it's folded up and placed in that handmade box right there. A time capsule with memorabilia too to the Air Force National Museum at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, and that will stay there until the squadron is reactivated down the road. The airmen will continue to work with Third Cav Regiment on Fort Hood and will continue to help with Operation Inherent Resolve missions overseas. Doug, quite a bit going on on Fort Hood today. Back to you. Just a little. All right, uh, Jillian, thank you. <laughs>